The Sufficiency of Christ. Understanding eternity, origins, the end of ages, heaven, hell, and God's will is beyond human grasp, unless God himself reveals it. This divine revelation comes not just through the written word, but through the incarnation of his son, Jesus Christ. Ever tried sharing the gospel with someone obsessed with philosophy and worldly mm. wisdom? They value modern thought over concepts like heaven and hell or sin and forgiveness. Our message today will allow you to gain a perspective on worldly thinking and learn how to explain the eternal truth found in Jesus Christ, which surpasses human reasoning. Hello, I'm Lynetta. I'm Patrick. And together we are co-founders of Vertical, Vertical Connections, Connections Inc. <laughs> Thank you for joining us once again. If you're new to this channel, yes. welcome. Please be sure to subscribe. Everyone click the like button, the bell icon, and share this message. Also, we greatly appreciate when you leave comments, and we look forward to those in the future. The world is incredibly complex with countless options and perspectives. Mm -hmm. It might seem strange or overly simplistic to say that Jesus Christ is the complete answer, yet that is precisely what the Bible asserts and what Jesus himself claimed. A recent survey found that most Americans believe Jesus was actually God. If that's true, then his words should be taken seriously, especially his declaration, and that he is the only Savior. In Colossians 2.3, we read, In him are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The statement that all wisdom and knowledge are found in Jesus Christ may seem bold or over the top. But it is an authoritative assertion from Scripture. Colossians 2.4 warns against being deceived by persuasive arguments and asserts that all wisdom and knowledge are found in Christ. Everything valuable, yes. meaningful, and related to life, death, eternity, joy, peace, and fulfillment is summed up in Him. The writer of Hebrews in the New Testament says that he made perfect forever those who are set apart to him. In Colossians 2, 9 through 10, it is said, For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have been filled in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. In Ephesians 1, 3, the Apostle Paul emphasizes that believers are blessed with all spiritual blessings in Christ. Blessed be the God of and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Philippians 3 further illustrates Paul's conviction that knowing Christ surpasses all human knowledge and religious practices. He counts everything a loss compared to the value of knowing Jesus. The Christian gospel proclaims that all answers for life and eternity are found solely in Christ. Mm -hmm. Colossians 2.10 reinforces this stating, And you have been filled in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. This truth challenges the idea of needing Christ mm -hmm. plus other philosophies or practices. The epistle focuses on Christ as the source of redemption, forgiveness, and reconciliation with God. In Christ, believers are transferred from the domain of darkness into his kingdom, experiencing full redemption and forgiveness of sins. All aspects of salvation and transformation come solely through him. Paul wrote to the Corinthians, and he said in 2 Corinthians 11.3, But I am... Afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve mm. by his cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. We're talking about something that is pure and simple. Christ is everything and apart from him, there are no answers. There are four points that Paul wants to make in chapter 2 of Colossians that um, assault the simplicity of Christ and the sufficiency of Christ. Four of them, philosophy, legalism, mysticism, and asceticism. Let's first unpack Paul's perspective on philosophy. In Colossians 2.8, he asserts that all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are found in Christ. He emphasizes that believers are complete in him, describing Christ as the image of the invisible God, 
the creator of all things, the supreme authority, and the sustainer of the universe. In light of this, Paul warns against being led astray by human philosophy and empty deceit, which contrast with the truth found in Christ. He urges believers not to be captivated okay. by worldly traditions or of principles, but to remain steadfast in their commitment to Christ alone. Don't allow anyone to divert you from Christ with human wisdom, worldviews, or moral principles. Paul warns against the emptiness of such philosophy, describing it as deceitful and lacking spiritual value. Human wisdom, rooted in tradition and human understanding, falls short of divine truth and fails to provide lasting spiritual fulfillment. 1 Corinthians 2.14 the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. It's amazing how often people will say, well, I think this is, this is about God, and I think that about God. When we are talking about our transcendent God, we're talking about a God who's outside our world. When the conversation takes place, we have to have information about Yahovah that he himself has delivered. For in Christ are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, and to know this is to give people tools they can use to find and understand and benefit from that amazing wealth. Sometimes it seems daunting to folks, particularly new Christians, to imagine how they could absorb everything in the scripture. The lives of many prominent philosophers were often found to be immoral, and their philosophies reflected this. This realization only solidified biblical convictions. Human philosophy did not offer anything that moved us from our faith. Instead, it reinforced it. Yes. In summary, sharing the gospel with those who value worldly wisdom requires patience, empathy, and a firm grounding in the truth of Jesus Christ. By presenting the gospel as the ultimate source of wisdom and truth, you can help others see beyond the limits of human understanding and embrace the eternal truths found in Christ. Thank you for joining us today. If you have found this message helpful, remember to click the like button, subscribe and share this video with others. Let's spread the transformative truth of Jesus Christ together. So until next time, get connected to, to go, go vertical. Bye-bye.